Luckily we already have our welded threaded spot. Um, if you only have holes here, you can use a bracket. And because I already have threaded spots, I can't lay it flat, but it would lay in with that hooked on. It will give you those two mounting spots. So we're grabbing this wiring connector we can do this it should be the same as the running board motor brackets it should be a 10 millimeter ratchet or socket Whichever you prefer to use. Torqued to 18 foot pounds. They recommend putting an LED in the middle of the door on the front and back, um, which obviously makes perfect sense. Uh, however, since I rarely drive with any rear passengers, um, the LED light on the back um, is going to be more for looks than functionality. So I decided uh, I'm going to measure off the outside of each bracket. Well, you can measure from the inside, doesn't matter. Uh, from outside to outside is 69 and a quarter inches. Um, so I'm evenly spacing them in into thirds. Um, so that way it'll uh, look even um, when you open the door across the boards uh, rather than spaced on the doors. Um, I guess we'll take a look at that and maybe at the end um, get a nighttime look at the lighting, uh, see if that actually makes sense. Uh, nice thing about it is it is just 3M uh, adhesive tape on the back. If you ever need to replace it, uh, just get some 3M, peel that one off, uh, put some new tape on, and you're ready to rock and roll. So it's not a big deal there, uh, but that's what I'm working on now. And uh, yeah, so let's go. <clears throat> so on these pieces of tape, I measured out 23 inches from the outside of the bracket. So hopefully, you can see my little center mark there, centered LEDs. And we did that for both spots. And we'll connect that to the harness. Now that we have the LED on the driver's side attached, we're going to go ahead and get all this figured out now. Rear left. Here we go. So rear left should be in blue. Correct one there hooked up. We'll slide up here. Do the same thing here for the front. Make sure this is left, front.
And at this time, we can also hook the LED into the harness here. So we're going to look for our two little arrows right there. Make sure they're connected. I'll show you another one why. Inside here, it's very specific how this connects the sort of break the prongs. The harness and here we're going to go ahead and finally connect to our housing here. So we got these connectors put together from the harness. Pretty self explanatory. Um, they're size specific. So this one's got six connectors, this one's got four connectors. And then these are the LEDs. So you see that one's red. Black on black. So the this goes to uh, the front and back motors. These will end up running out um, to the battery and other other connections. This one here I ran across. That's this one. You want to make sure we stay away from the exhaust pipe there and of course the drive line. So I ran up and over you can't see it right here. Yep, right here. So I'm running across that, coming out here, and under the under the exhaust shield, uh, but over the frame on the passenger side, and then this splits here for the front motor bracket, and same thing down here to the rear motor bracket. We have the connections for our LEDs, same as the other side, here and here. That takes care of running the connections for these brackets. We're going to drill a 7 16 hole through here that will allow us to connect the wiring harness uh, to the sensors. I have the wrong drill bit, so I'm winging it with this one. Um, I would obviously recommend getting the proper one. But... Alright, as you see, I have a piece of wood so I wouldn't go through the carpet. So, by having the piece of wood, at least one long enough that I could hold on to it uh, for out here outside the door frame, I could, uh, hold that piece in place without it popping on me and we got the hole we need hopefully it's large enough uh, for fishing what we need so we have our hole that we drilled and we're running auxiliary cords for the sensors this one will be for the passenger side it will run under the carpet to that side black. This will be for our cutoff switch, our manual cutoff switch we'll have in the console. We'll probably hide here uh, in our drawer underneath the stereo. And once I can find it, we should have our brown cord. Oh, now we're brown. We run right here. Uh, this will be hidden um, here in the pillar. So we'll need to get our sensor set up on this driver's side. We're going to use, if I can get it to focus, this bolt right here for our ground. It'll be 
this part off the sensor. So the sensor that's connected to that will go to the back. And be placed somewhere in here. And connected to the bolt. This sensor will be for the front door and this will connect easily to the brown wire. So I'll go ahead and tape off our spots where the sensors will go. The seal, finish this behind it. and place it against the bracket and make sure it's tight. And give ourselves enough slack here so the wire. is nicely housed right there. Now on the door, one and a half inches from the deepest spot, we'll come down and we'll put our magnet. If there's our mark, an inch and a half from here. So our magnet will go right here. It's are pretty strong for as small as they are. Same thing with the back. Pull this through. We'll find the spot like that. The magnet will be placed here. Sorry for the noise. Connect that to the nut, uh, the bolt, connect that to the sensors, and driver's side will be ready to go. On this one, magnet will go right below that tape there. This sensor will go here. Since we know this magnet is going right against the seal, we'll set that and then we'll come over and put the sensor on to match. Again, remembering to move the seal out of the way so you can fish your sensor through. So we have the sensor through. We'll match this up with the magnet. Now on these clothes, they should lay right on top of each other. A little bit, again, make sure we're getting this wire tucked and flat. Push the seal back in place. 
All right, now we're gonna hook up the brown wire we got here to our sensor. We'll all get hidden in the pillar and we'll pull the ax excess back under the carpet. This way we don't have much to hide there. It's right at the carpet and we're set. To get to this bolt and hook up this ground. All right, probably difficult to see, but gotta loosen up this bolt a little bit with a 10 millimeter wrench. Our pillar trim and snap that back in. What I did go ahead and do while I was pull this carpet back, our black wire that came up through, I have that right here. That goes to the cutoff switch. Um, that I prefer the switch uh, in the drawer. So I fished the trigger with an on-off switch down through the back of the drawer that comes down right here for the white cord fish it up through this spot in the rug that was already cut from previous factory wire I'm going to run it straight across underneath all the seats right to the other pillar where we need to connect it in so I'm currently fishing it under the third or center seat in the front. I guess when they said about console for most other trucks, they have the center console between the seats rather than the third seat in the front. However, I do not. So that's going to come down through here. I'll come across right there. Pull that. And we do have to watch out for here because this is the mounting spot for the jack. Right down through this hole so we can hide it under the carpet here. That we also have to make sure we stay out of the way of the um, the bolt that holds the jack in place. So we'll have to be careful of that. Do is hook this up. Got the pillar cover back on that side. I just gotta pull it in. Fix the seat seal the way around. Make sure everything's popped in and tight. And rear Door sill is down. All right, and we're all set. All sensors and wires are hidden. We can place the front door sill. All right, so. All wiring is done, just have to wire tie it up, all out of the way. 
But in any case, for now, here we have it. Leave it grounded here. Positive is hooked up. And it runs down over the uh, over on the, on the top side of the wheel well, down through. So it's running right here, down, and across to the harness. Just separated out over there. How it's working now? We'll go ahead and open the door for a test. Brackets shoot right out, so we'll get those boards put on, and then we'll get the everything wire tied up. And test all the doors. Up they go. Test the back. Make sure sensor's working. Perfect. LEDs on both sides. Look good. Away they go. Try the same thing on the passenger side. No problem. We got both LEDs on. Away. Out. Perfect.